Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I am playing a game called Llama Adventure. Yes, all my life goals was to become a llama and go on adventures. <laughs> Let's begin. This is write a word to start. Okay, so this is a text-based game, which is what I learned from the description. So what, what should we type? Let's type in, um, potato. Cause a potato flew around my room before you came. <laughs> oh my gosh, throw back to 2014, is it not? A potato flew around my room before you came, excuse? Potato, I wish I knew what that phrase meant. Okay, what does that mean? That does not make sense to me. I don't know. What phrase are we supposed to say? Hello, maybe? It's me. After all these years, I know that we were meant to be. It's no different. Both of us are running out of time. Sorry, come again? <laughs> Hello from the outside <laughs> oh my gosh trying to face piece okay what are we supposed to say let's be serious now all right we're trying this once again uh start i want to begin the game oh i'm really stupid <laughs> i think it means to type start to start <laughs> Oh my goodness, that took me way too long. Oh my gosh, here we are, we're finally starting our llama adventure. Hello you, I am so glad they finally shipped you here. A spot of bother will with the street address, but that was fixed, I assure you. Aside from that, what is your name? My name is Kenzie. Oh ho, Kenzie, such a ghastly thing to call yourself. I will call you Llama. You are Llama, right? Yep. Come again. I'll take a yes or no as an answer. Oh, okay. You too good for slang. Okay. I see how it is, mister. Of course you are. I am always right. <laughs> you will learn that soon enough. Well then, Llama, we are going to start you right away. If you would like to open the door, we can start. You can do that by typing that into your magical button board, or you can look around first. Always look around in every room. Well, we're going to look around. So, we just type look around. Alright. Let's do that. Oh, that's a lot of words. I see you looking at my study. It has that stuffy fragrance of an old man and olive oil. Not from me, mind you. My bookshelf reaches the ceiling from the floor and are stacked with several old books. I have acquired through many years I've seen to come and go. That door behind you leads to the first room of your adventure. So stop dwelling and go through it. So I guess we're gonna go through the door. I type in door. That does not make sense to me. What do you mean? Oh, open door. You know, who are you even talking to? They didn't even introduce themselves. For all we know, we could be talking to a stranger. All right, <laughs> you opened the door and now you're off to the next room. Just go through now and you're on your way. So just say go. I see you in the next room. Oh, what? Oh, we're going to the next room. Awesome. Here's where we start our experiment, Llama. I've made you seven rooms fit for Llama exploration and triumph. Do you understand? Yes, I do, mister. Good luck, Llama. Obeying is the key to survival. Now that the 44th creature to enter this facility, your job is to get past room 7. Each room has a simple puzzle to be solved. If you solve the puzzle, the next room will open. If you fail the puzzle, then you will most certainly die a terrible death. But that is all se sem semantics? Sem semantics? I don't know. And nothing will worry about. Is that clear? Yes. It certainly is. Fantastic. If you need help at any time, feel free to use that command. I'll be looking at you funny because the mirrored woman. Alright. Um, 
So can we proceed? We'll we'll look around, I guess, since it wants us to look around. Um, this room is nothing like the room you're just in. The floors to walls are a blinding white, with fluorescent lights behind metal grates filling the room, with an immense ab about of in Im illumination. <laughs> Feel like a test subject yet, Llama? Right here is a table I bought you from the neighbors during a garage sale. Across the room is a similar door to the one you just passed through, this time with a lock. All right, we're going to go ahead and open that door and try to get through this room. Six and a half hours late. Uh, a bit lost, are we, Llama? Yep, <laughs> pretty bad at this. Eventually. Let's go ahead and say pick up key. Let's see if that's something. Uh, what are you going on about, Llama? There's nothing to take of that nature around here. Let's <laughs> uh. try to look at the table. Look. Table? Will that work? On my table is a white cloth with three keys. A bad key, a tasty key, and a good key. I named those myself. Next to the couch is an unfolded note with writing on it. And just so no, and just so no, I don't have handwriting like my fellow doctors. Can we say read note? Try another phrase, please. Um, let's see. Pick up note. Let's see. You now have a note in your mouth that tastes like parchment. Yum. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, what else can, what other phrases can we use? Let's see. Look at the note? Let's just try to do that. Look. Note. Let's see what we can do from that phrase. Uh, I'll redo the note, Llama. You can't read. <laughs> you mash the button board, but Llama reading, impossible. The bad key is a good, the bad key is good and the good key is bad. The bad key can you through the door that tasty key you can eat that it's made of alfalfa <laughs> what that was not english uh so i guess we have to take the key and take it through one of the doors so i'm gonna say take the bad key since it says the bad key is good so let's say take bad key uh, or use bad key let's try that one um, you do not have the bad key in your possession. Oh, pick up. All right. That, yeah, that, that makes more sense. So pick up bad key. You already have the note in your mouth. You need to drop the, oh my gosh. <laughs> drop note. <laughs> so many phrases. Um, all right. So now we need to pick up bad key. All right. You've picked up the bad key. It tastes slightly sour. Of course, it's got a bad in the title for a reason. Uh, all right, we're gonna go ahead and use the bad key. And I guess we just can't use our hands because we're llamas. We have hooves, not key or er, hands. So we're using our mouth. <laughs> you should probably use the bad key with the lock. Yeah, that's what I meant. So should I say bad key lock? Pardon. Um. Use bad key lock. I don't know if that'll that'll work. Carefully turning. Oh, okay, that that worked. All right. Uh, carefully turning the bad key into the lock on the door, the key suddenly vanishes. Now what? Where did you put my key? What? Okay, maybe it's open. Let's just say open door. <laughs> Let's see what that does for us. Um. The door clicks open. Oh, it worked. Awesome. Nice one, want to come meet me in the next room now? Yes. Go through door? I'll see you in the next room, Llama. Tally ho! Awesome, so we're, we're done. We finished the first room. We're on room two. That took a lot longer. I don't know if, the, if I'm doing like really, I'm just doing really bad or if it's just a longer game, but we'll see. Now that we have met in person, I'm going to be typing to you on this monitor located in each room. I'm not sure if this text is coming through. Can you see it? Yes, I can. Good llama, obeying is the key to survival. 
I quite admire your ability to get through a simple room like that. <laughs> that was simple. <laughs> yeah, I don't have much skill, but... <laughs> Okay, so I quite admire your ability to get through a simple room like that, but can you get through a simple room such as this one? I'm tickled by the idea that you can win such an easy room as the last, but you cannot win an even easier room such as this one. All you have to do is is that stop clock between... All you have to do is stop that clock between after it ticks 14 to 15 seconds. What? Do you understand? Okay, so like all I got from that is you have to stop a clock between 14 and 15 ticks. So, I guess, let's just put down yes and start this puzzle. Fair enough, speaking of which, did you know that you can look at specific items for clues to the puzzle rooms? Anyway, carry on. Oh yeah, we need to look around at rooms, I remember that. Every time we look in a room, we need to look around to get a, a good idea of what it's about. This room is a bright magenta enclosure, similar to the one you were previously in, sans the sickening pink color. The bright fluorescent lights still beam down, but the pink. Why would I torture you like this? The floor rests a large circular clock with one hand pointing at the 12. Speaking of 12, I'm getting hungry for lunch. Next to the clock is a massive hammer, a good three meters beyond the hammer and clock is a door with no clock. There is a large indentation in the wall next to the door. It looks like someone got crazy on the wall. We should probably do something with the hammer or the clock. We can't really do anything on the hammer. What about, okay, let's just try clock. Use clock. Does that work? You do not have the clock in your possession. Well, the clock's on the ground, so I don't know if you can pick it up, but let, let's see. I don't know. You pick up the clock in your mouth. Tastes like time. <laughs> Not sure what that tastes like. Hopefully it's good. Um, <laughs> Alright. Um, so I guess we can use clock. Let's see what that does. The clock doesn't seem to work on its own. Maybe we can use it with something else. What else can I use it with? What else is in the room? Um... Let's see. Um, so there's a clock in the room, there's a hammer, and there's another clock. So next to the clock is a massive hammer, and the clock is a door with no clock. What? And there's an indentation on the wall, so maybe... Mm, a used door, maybe? Or... Let's see if, what used door does. I'm not really sure. Used door. The door won't budge. But it just said there was no lock on the door. I'm very confused. Let me reread this for a second. Okay, I think I have an idea what we have to do. I think we have to bust down the, the door with the hammer. Since there's no lock on it. So let's drop clock. And we're going to pick up the hammer. So pick up hammer. Uh, what are you going to... <laughs> what are you going on about llama? There's nothing to take of that nature around here. What it says I can do that? It says that I can use the word hammer. Then what can I do next? I guess... Uh, go... Door... Part of my saying, but it's extremely crucial that you open door before you use it. <laughs> True. Open doors. Do we, do we literally just have to open the door? The door won't budge. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it won't budge. So what if we look at the indentation? That's the only other thing that's, like, in the room. I'm trying to just envision this, like, in my mind to get an idea of kind of what we're looking at. But the indentation is completely circular and has two metal prongs sticking out the back. What if we pick up prongs? Don't know if this is safe, but we'll see. You can't pick up the prongs because they're permanently attached to the indentation in the wall. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna have to go with help. I'm not sure what to do here. Uh, okay. Well, we have a clock, a hammer, and indentation. So let's just pick up the clock again. Uh, that was the, that, we said that before and that seemed to work. 
So what other interactions can we do? So we can um, we can open, use, go, look, gaze, take, grab, pick up, drop. Let's what haven't we used? We haven't used gaze. Uh, grab well okay grab pick up kind of the same thing uh let okay let's drop the clock for a second and let's actually look at it and see if that'll give us any clues uh the clock looks like a large novelty sized pocket watch about 25 centimeters in diameter it's a perfect round gold finish tarnished by two large holes in the back uh, i'm not really sure what if we grab hammer will that work you never know, hammer in your mouth. It tastes like wood. Forgot a good for a good reason too. Hope you like your cellulose. <laughs> um, mm, what is? Oh, I don't know what to do now. Except for use hammer. The hammer needs something to hit. Use it with another object. Ooh, you! So I can so I can use hammer door. The hammer can't break the open door. <gasps> what? Oh, the door's open. Oh, okay. So let me drop the hammer. Let's close the door. Oh, I can't do that. The door's open. Can we go through the door? I opened the door. What? What? I already opened the door. It literally just said a hammer can't break. The if hammer can't break, open the door. What? It's probably have to do something with the indentation, but I don't know. I feel really dumb. <laughs> I'm not good at these games. Maybe use the hammer on the clock. Oh my gosh. Okay, use hammer clock. If this works, I'm just probably really dumb. <laughs> you don't have the hammer possession pick okay. Pick up hammer. Use hammer clock. Will that work? May I say it? You have killed time. You've done it now, Llama. You're done. Next time I would follow my instruction a bit closer. I told you exactly what to do. The clock can't work now. The lock can't be undone. Everything is wrong. Until then, I guess you can spend the rest of eternity here. Do you want to try this room again, Llama? Yes to start this level, or no to let me bury you and start another Llama at the beginning. <laughs> okay, um, looks like I failed. I literally only got to two rooms. I was hoping I'd finish the game, but knowing me, <laughs> don't have high expectations here. We're gonna go back to the main menu. And I'm going to go ahead and just finish this video off here. Guys, thank you so much for watching me play Llama Adventure. This was a really challenging game, surprisingly. But it was really fun. I, I like these types of games. I didn't think I'd like these types of games, but it was fun. If you want to play this for yourself, there will be a link down below in the description. Let me know what you think in the comments down below or by leaving a rating. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, everyone. Check the next bit.